Alright, so second job, gaming with Sebastian and Ninethold playing Age of Engineering. We're going to get started on uh, Age 7, I believe that's the one we're going to be getting the server in. Yeah, it's is the Age 7, which is the Nuclear Age. We've got the stuff for it, but before we get started, we're going to show y'all uh, Ninethold's build on the Void Resource Miners and stuff. So, he has built this nice uh, staircase down here, and, you know, just engineering contraptions galore so way down there you got it set up you got all of these guys powering that guy and this thing being powered from above and of course he's made it look pretty yeah a little bit here and there there was a whole bunch of lava in this room I had to water down and dig out all right well tell everybody how all this stuff works uh, you feed it power. <laughs> um, this the dark one here, which could be uh, this is salt. Could be out of the alabaster, like the other one next to it over there, um, or it could be out of the hardened stone. I just chose the, the salt. Did a lot of it. But this is the void resource miner. It's mining uh, beyond the bedrock. Where we are with the very bottom of the world. See the bedrock layer right there? I've just covered it up with the cobblestone blocks. Um, he is still basically mining. That little laser lights up every once in a while. It's a very minimal power from above. The dimensional transceivers receiving minimal power. Uh, there's more projects I'm tinkering with. Um, and then all, what, 12 of these? 12 water wheels are now powering this resource miner, which gives standard blocks, uh, clay, sand, dirt, diorite, cobblestone, woodstone. 20 types of uh, slimy grass and dirt now all of the hardened clay colors but I was expecting more that's why there's so many uh, drawers down here I wasn't sure how many blocks it was going to produce and so you got it turned off right now because you want to organize it before you yeah get moving. it was just whatever popped in and went wherever yeah. And we're getting so much of certain of the easy stuff, cobblestone, another rack that it's going over the five twelve. Mm -hmm. I don't need them, so I'm just gonna put up a uh void upgrade mm -hmm. doors. Yeah. Get organized. Yeah, so this is a project continuing with him. Uh, I still think this is all spiff, man. Well, I mean, I could put together a big machine or whatever. It's the water wheels. I I like because they're continuous. They don't use any resources other than wood and stone. Right? Yeah. Creosote. A little bit of copper. Some creosote. Yeah, and creosote, which we need to use a lot of anyway. Yep. Either that or we're avoiding it. I don't know. I like the, I like the version of it. Of it uh, I attempted to use oil uh, from the oil generator or whatever. Yeah. But it just eats oil. That's what it's there for. Um, there is no, oh, this is full. I turn off. Now he just burns it. As long as you're feeding it to him, he's eating it. So, I don't like that it's wasteful to me. So, I set one up. I set up the chain to make uh, what's sesame oil? What's that? Canola oil? Uh, canola oil. There we go. Um, I set up the little farm to, to harvest the canola. Um, 
I set up the seeds down below here. Um, I set it up so that it would uh, be fed into fermenting barrels and the canola press to be pressed out. Um, then they go into these basic fluid tanks um, which get put into the, the dispensers so that it dispenses the oil onto the ground and then precision dropper to drop the thing and it's all fairly automated. There's still some bugs in the system. But if you can keep everything going, like if they could be a little farther apart or something, uh, I don't know exactly how I've messed it up, but um, some of the I've got it set up as a pulse, so occasionally something will drop, the pulse will go off, but it didn't register somewhere, and so it freezes. Mm. And then there's no extra pulse because the the material it's looking for is already there, but it's not sending a continuous pulse. It pulses once, and so it just sort of stops. Sort of pick it up and it'll, it'll place down a new one and then start again. Something like a redstone clock might not help? Probably would. Um, but these are detecting what is there. The redstone clock would say uh, tick, tick. And it wouldn't care that, oh, that's uh, canola oil that has not been enhanced yet and so it would attempt to pull it into the fluid collector whenever it's not the correct fluid yet because I was thinking of that too but it's, it's a a dumb system not like you're stupid but it just kind of does it it doesn't think about it and this is supposed to be a thinking system where it says, oh, well, I've got the right thing here, and I'll work. Did you know your energy uh, battery down here is dead? Yeah, that's another thing. Um, actually, he shouldn't be dead dead. No, he's dead dead. He should be feeding, being fed. Maybe, well, that could be the case, too. The, um, uh, what's the thing called? The trans dimensional transceiver is being powered by this one water wheel which is also powering all um, the all of this nola presses <laughs> and the um, anything that needs power like the farmers need power and so the dimensional transceiver is most likely eating all of the power because he just does not put out enough to feed everything I guess so the transceiver is eating the, the remnants. So what you're saying is you need to build another water wheel behind this one? Most likely next to it. Uh, this is a chunk right here. So I'd probably have to put it over here. Huh. Put in another one. And then just... See how that works out? Yeah, just take the... Dimensional right. transceiver it's off. Technically, do that and everything would run. It would power everything in here. Well, transceiver's not sending out any power either, or getting any extra. It technically is. Huh. It's going oh, downstairs. I see it. it went here, up. Two R Yeah. Uh, I'm just used to seeing power go so much faster than that. Oh, well, it's dropped too. Like sixty RF. Effectively, I, I've never been able to test it, but I believe this mod pack has this set up to where it's 60. It's not perfected. It's not like, okay, I'm going to put this water here and touch this water and maximize it to 88 RF per tick or anything like that. It's just water's hitting it. It's, so 
I think it's somewhere around 60. It's the only type of reading I could get. Uh, the Ender IO stuff does not register the same way. I don't know. So I haven't been able to tell what it's actually putting out, but I'm guessing it's around 60. Um, I think, well, that in the, um, well, the redstone, the redstone farm has worked fairly nicely. Mm -hmm. um, it's not harvesting now because the, the farmer down there ran out of wooden hose that put in it. And I haven't gone and put wood in there. I've got a manual crafter, like that, a mechanical crafter mm -hmm. that is producing wood hose and feeding it into it. It runs out since I don't have it all automated. Yeah, I've got a clay bee hive set up in a swamp out there somewhere. I've got the chunk loaded. It's been feeding us clay. And also, I've got 1,000 331 clay drones. Mm -hmm. It was filling up my inner chest. So I had to set this up. And we were, we've got 512 clay blocks and 512 clay. And this is the overrun of clay here. We've got so 334 more clay. Your shortage of clay is no longer a shortage. No, not at all. We've got overabundance because the resource miner is collecting clay now too uh -huh. um, yeah we need so much clay for silicon yeah uh, there's other ways of doing it but that was the easiest I could find um, let's see, I don't remember so many different little things I've been working on <laughs> over the time. Right. And well, all I did was to... build this out. A little mine opening. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Made it look nicer. Put all my uh, trophies over here. And moved this over to this. So this now goes down. Whee! powered it all up so everybody can see it. If you can hear me right now, because it's really loud, because it is a minecart. Let's take a quick little ride all the way down to the bottom. And we're right back up again. That was quick. That was pretty quick. I just see you, I don't see the cart. Well that's fine, because I only need to see me. There you go. I see me in the cart. Oh, turn around. Oh, now the cart just got back. <laughs> kind of like that. You've been here. You've been standing here. The cart just arrived. Interesting. Uh, and lastly, the bees. So, a couple episodes ago we started the bees. And as you can see here, we have flowers galore. And a little bee hut, just in case there's some dark spot out there or something manages to get through while I'm AFK, waiting for the bees to grow. So, purebred drones only. Princess opposite of princesses. Nope, drones opposite of princesses. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily work out the way I thought it would. Uh, so, that one's done. We are working on common. So, meadows and forest makes common and, of course get cultivated. So put him back in there. We're trying to change him into commons because we've got one purebred common here, one purebred common here, and we're working on the third one now. And, and so uh, you're making the queens or the, the, the drones? We're yeah. going to stack up the drones over here because you need a lot of drones. You need a ton of drones and purebred drones are the best in order to get moving and uh... Well, I got 1,300 and some odd clay drones yeah. you need and common well for right now I do yeah oh. I'm trying to get my third common drone over here of course
course. Yeah, know. after I did the clay ones, I was pretty much beat out. So that's a pure drone. And that is a noble. Haha! <laughs> Got a noble hybrid on this one. Awesome. Now we did the, Oh, yeah. Because common and cultivated makes noble. So save that dude. Is he a, a noble noble? No, he's a common noble. And then we have a common common over here. He'd be a common noble. That's just an oxymoron, isn't it? It's a hybrid. So, as you can see, we got all these right here. Uh, I had been making sweet frames. These guys right yeah. here. In order to change it, because they give a genetic decay of 1.1 and a mutation rate of 0.5. So, just a little bit less and... Yeah, you get a higher mutation rate because none of the other frames that I could make right now did that. This guy's you know, genetic decay of 0 0.9, 0 0.4. The impregnated frame really keeps your your uh, ignoble ones from dying, so that helps out. And that right there, for mutation rate 0 0.5, mutation rate 0 0.25, and 3.0. But you know, royal jelly gotta have royal jelly to make the impregnated frame and I don't have that yet because we need this girl which is noble and majestic we just got the drone that's half that the common and cultivated makes noble oh hold on no this one <laughs> so imperial is majestic is noble and cultivated makes majestic so you're gonna need a lot of cultivated drones and cultivated no. drones are not gonna be so hard to make as soon as we get a ton of common drones, we can go ahead and just trade the common uh, princesses into cultivated princesses by mutating those guys with forest or high or forest or meadow drones, which we already have a ton of. But you're going to keep at least one common queen, correct, or common princess? Yeah, at least one. To keep and are they drones. pristine? Or are they no? Yeah, they're pristine. I went out and captured a whole bunch more uh, metal queens to get the pristine metal yeah, queens pristine, in. Yeah, yeah and as you That's know. That's what I did. That's why I've got a clay queen or clay princess pristine yeah, see there's over in that farm. Two of them over here that we could take. Maybe one of them will be because, you know, metal drones and forest drones, they're everywhere. Not the drones, the hives. So yeah. we're not dying for that. And of course we have every flower known to Minecraft, vanilla. Which technically is good, yeah. because the other day when I needed orange, I just walked over with <laughs> orange tulips, and, yep. and they were replaced. Yeah, so. rather instantly too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I always use the Batania horn of the wild to just pick them all up. Blue, and they're, they're all in my pack real quick. Yep. That's a magical mod, not in here. Nope. Don't have anything like that in this one. Looks like you just scythe and cut it down. Okay. You well, were there before. I just leave them. Until I need a color, I kind of yeah. run over and yeah. pick them. Yeah, yeah. No real need to go crazy. Yeah, some of the stuff I've used, some stuff I haven't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So could basically put all 16 flowers over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it need, is. We would need one more block set. Well, I can continue down here because if you look, yeah, this is still within this one chunk. Uh huh. And so everything would still be easily enough. Right. If we tried to automate or whatever. Yep. And of course, uh, Got the hazmat suit. Told me not to handle any of these things in there because it's uranium and pile of uraniums. They're will really yeah. make you sick real quick. So thank you, sir. Thank you <laughs> for doing that. And of course, items to get us to the next age. And we've got all that. So let's look at trigger seven here. Age seven. And it takes this pattern storage, which is three reinforced stone which you need the iron scaffold and the CF sprayer and CF powder to do 
and you need the canning machine to make the construction foam to make the CF stuff. Uh, that's some IC2 stuff. I was stupid on it. I did learn how to do it and I went ahead and did it. So, to do this, drop this guy into your hand, come over here, take these guys, put one down, two down, three down, and spray it. Instantly sprays all of them and it will solidify over time. You can do something with sand? I don't know what it is if you hit it with sand or something. Let's find out. Um, I, I mean, it's something I yeah, heard. See, I, one of them's already I, done. I, oh, look at that. Cool. So, so that's if you're in a hurry. Room. Otherwise, just let yeah. it continue. All right. So, hit it with sand to make it faster, uh, or you know, <laughs> just wait that extra second. And of course. Yeah. It breaks down like obsidian. It is crazy slow. So I'm going to go ahead and pick all this stuff up real quick, and then we'll get started with age 7. Yeah, because technically there's a couple different things that you need that stuff in the recipe for. Mm -hmm. um, and because there's no technically accurate recipe, you just have to know the process on how to get that, or find it mm -hmm. on the internet yeah that's what I had to do, I had to go find it and, it's uh, kind of annoying yeah. there should be something that says oh this is how you make this right, you know, there should be that would be a that'd be a mod in the mod for JEI or whatever um, so we have the reservoir here we have a pressurized fluid conduit going into the solid canning machine and we have this lever here because when you put the gun in there to get the construction foam out, you have to switch the tanks. And as soon as the construction foam is over here on the left side, when it immediately empties, if you have water flowing into it, it will immediately fill it up and you'll have two tanks full of water. And that was a big problem and caused much contention in our server as to <laughs> why it would do something like that when all the other mods will let you dump it just completely drop everything out of it kind of like this wonderful vat over here yeah so because you can just dump it dump it in there and then just completely void it wonderful and touch if you need it in a different tank you can move it mm -hmm. and dump tank into output tank yep and well you can do that with this yeah. one too but you can't void the other side so try to leave some construction foam in there take that thing out I, I don't remember if <laughs> It jumps it all in there at once or not, or if it just takes a little bit at a time. But figure just turn the switch off, stop filling it with water. That that helped. Yeah, basically, if you make sure that it is completely empty of water, and you've turned mm -hmm. off feeding it water, then when you switch tanks, you only move the uh, the CF foam that you need. Mm -hmm. Take that out. Then make sure that it's set up to be the what water on the left. Change it back so that when you put water into it again, it's on the correct side. But yeah, that, that did not make uh -huh. me happy. All right, so set it to fluid enrich. Stick your CF powder here, and watch as it turns it into more construction foam. Book. And CF and most powder. Likely, hmm? Just turn off the water. Yeah. Use up the water that's there so that you don't have to. Because there's no way of dumping the water out, as far as I know. Right. And uh, the calculator small stone, really good use for making CF uh, dust. Yeah, and you get that stuff. Actually, the calculator small stones and the stone dust mm -hmm. from industrial craft. Yep. Same thing. Yep. Uh, the mod considers them both the identical item. You know, we got crushed gold ore in here if you want to make more gold. Yeah. Uh, gold is the hardest right. so material. We're going to trigger H7 now. There we go. And see if that will let him 
at age seven. It will not. So we'll give him age seven later on. Yeah, I'll have to pick it up from the. It's all you, man. Crafting, whatever. Yeah, I'll take care of that for okay. you. But uh, it's on the ground over there if you want to go pick it up. I don't. It's yours. You do it. Well, I'll have to make one, right? No, no. That took so much time for me to make all that stuff. If you want to make one, you can. Uh, do you think we'll need another one? I don't think we'll need another one. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, because modular storage... I mean, it did take me too long. It took me like a, like 30 minutes to put it all together. The, the reinforced stone was the hard part. Alright, so, no, not that one. <laughs> the guide, age of engineering. Let's see what we are in the nuclear age. Yeah, you can create machine frames, yeah, modular stores, and you can start working on replicating things with UU matter. There you go. Uh, you should work on getting three key items, iridium plates, you can get by replicating iridium in the replicator. Uh huh. So you technically have to go searching through dungeons yep. to get the iridium. So you need one iridium first from nine iridium shards in dungeon chests. And how many iridium shards do we have? Eleven. Oh, so you got yeah, you're nine already. Yeah, I see him. Yep. Um, how do we? Why do we only need one? Well, that's what it says. It says you need one iridium first from nine shards. Besides the replicator, you need pattern storage and a scanner for creating UU matter. You need a mass fabricator and a lot of energy. Save some energy creating scrap and a recycler is recommended. Generate power from a nuclear reactor is basically required. Yeah, um, put that way far away. You have to have um, iridium to make some of those blocks. So I'm not sure exactly what it's talking about. I'll have to read what it's saying. But as far as I can tell, we need at least four to start doing that sort of thing. Uh, because one iridium plate is not going to in a replicator. So you're you're storing up the quadruple compressed cobblestone right now. You get those f four blocks, five blocks, went tuple. And then the black stone. Yeah, technically I've got um, I've got it set up right now to feed directly into our cobblestone compacting drawer here. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally I'll come up and it's full, and I've put oh, we got 214 triple compressed in there. So I have some. I don't have a ton yet. I haven't been. Yeah. And the only way I found to make this thing work into another one is to, you know, put a conduit here with a filter that will only filter out the double compressed, put it into the bottom one, but it wouldn't put it into the bottom one, so I had to build a whole other storage controller. <laughs> to do that yeah. and oh it was it was a nightmare putting all that together but it worked and you know I guess when I get my art and craft thing started back up again uh, we might be able to see that one again or I can just go build it and show people how it works but it's not too difficult to understand uh, this one right here you just want to dump stuff into so basically what I had was a storage controller building into this one pumping it into another storage controller building it into that one Mm. And since I needed quintuple, yeah, I need, need the sixth or seventh version of ah. that stuff is ridiculously high. And I only got to one before it was over in about 100, 100, 200 hours. I finally got to the first one, and I needed eight of them. Yeah, septuple is seven. Okay, yeah, I needed eight of them to make that torturino. 
and come to find out that it's just so much easier to use the bobbles thing. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Yeah, true. So, we're going to get started on all that, and we will get back with y'all on another episode. So, Sebastian and Nightethel, Second Job Gaming, thanking y'all for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.